Have you ever eaten an In-N-Out burger? This is Brian Pombo, and this is Tyler Pombo, and along with us is Sean E. Douglas. So here we're about to see the first opening of an In-N-Out burger in the state of Oregon. So watch us as we talk. Okay, so we are here in Medford, Oregon, watching the grand opening of In-N-Out Burger, a franchise that started down in Southern California back in 1948. What town was that in, Sean? Uh, it was Baldwin Park. It's out in Los Angeles area, if I'm not mistaken. According to their website, they were the first drive through fast food burger so they claim to be the first one so <laughs> that's true or not all this for what many would consider just a hamburger joint have you ever had an in and out burger leave a comment down below let us know whether you have what you thought of it is it just all a bunch of hype they've got camera crews out here they claim the lines today are going to be at least two to three hour wait for a hamburger, a shake, some animal fries. Tyler, you want to get a burger? You want some animal fries? Would you like a double-double? Perhaps a strawberry shake? You want a strawberry shake? Strawberry yeah. shake, Tyler? Animal style burger? How is it, Sean? Very good. Animal style fries, in and out. Awesome. Adam the Woo? It's just a hat. See, it's a paper hat. You want to try it on? There you go. You don't want it? You don't want it? <laughs> well, there we go. In and out burgers. We've stopped by Redding on our way down to Tracy to get in and out. And it's going to be interesting having it here this close. Sean actually lives in Central Point, which is right next to Medford here. So he's super close to in and out now. I'm actually in Grants Pass, talking about 20, 30 minutes away from in and out but now we have it available to us so that's kind of cool i love it i really like the business you know maybe even more than just the food itself uh, you had a lot of uh, you could tell a lot of corporate heads were there today i mean it's a big deal with first restaurant here in oregon so big deal and i really they're really professional very courteous uh, definitely recommend you check them out uh, if you're in the local area and you won't be disappointed yeah, and if you're ever vacationing in these states, hopefully you see some states scrolling up here. Um, if you're ever vacationing in these states, uh, be sure and check out an In-N-Out Burger and try it out and see what you think. Like Sean says, there's a secret menu. I'll put a link down below in the description so that you can go to a website with that secret menu and you can order something that no one else knows about. So this In-N-Out, this actually marks... A, uh, a, a huge part in Southern Oregon history where, where we have something that we've never had in the area finally close by. We have something we've been waiting for an in and out This is actually a huge thing in Southern Oregon for a lot of people is waiting for that in and out to show up. Absolutely. There's been, I, working down at Derrick's, you know, a lot of the people that have lived here all their lives, um, you know, they've been hearing rumors about this in the, in the papers, online for years and even until about eight months ago or so when it was finally okay we're really going to have it and it's going to be over at that location by the mall 
uh, there were people that were still very skeptical that it was ever going to happen, you know, and then people started realizing that it was going to happen and people were starting to get really excited about that. So it's, you know, a lot of people growing up here uh, or have lived here in the area for a long time. This has been a, a topic of conversation for a while. I was thinking about it. What are the other things that we don't have in Southern Oregon? whether it be an actual brand name or type of place, what do we not have that you would want to see? Oh, man. Um, boy. The, the one thing that when you go out of state, you make sure you hit up if you if you get a chance. Nations. I mean, I love Nations. Nations Hamburgers is a really good place. That's a yeah. that, that's one I'd, I'd like to see something at least similar to that yeah. because it has that cafeteria style yeah. where you go up, you grab your food, you can hang out. It's 24 hours. That we, that was always a favorite of ours when we lived in Tracy. Yeah, absolutely. At least in Southern Oregon, they have them in uh, around Portland, but Krispy Kreme, of course, you know. Krispy Kreme that. donuts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, but that's the only two I can think of off the top of my head. Another one I would think of, the one thing that I, I hit up every time I'm in an area that has it is a, a frozen custard place. Uh, frozen custard is a specialty that you find out a lot, at least in the South and Midwest, I think. It, uh, I, I, I'm just trying to think of the places I found them before. So up when I'm up in Portland, oftentimes we'll hit up the one that's just outside of Portland in Washington, just over the border. I'd also love to see, and I, this might be close to impossible, but I'd actually like to see a Waffle House here. Talk about something that you'll tend to only see in the South or uh, Midwest, or Waffle Houses. They have a sandwich, uh, a uh, uh, steak and onion sandwich, morning sandwich that I just love. I like 24-hour places, and it'd be cool to see more 24-hour places in Southern Oregon. Other than that, though, we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of some of the best stuff that you could find uh, anywhere else in the country. You could find it here, too. Yeah, you know, and anytime you have a happy kid when you're talking about this stuff, you know it's good, you know? It's got to be. <laughs> you like In-N-Out, Tyler? Exactly. So, In-N-Out Burger uh, is very good. I'm, I, I'm sure they'll do perfectly fine here. It's a very smart business. Maybe in the future we'll go over a lot of the marketing aspects that In-N-Out of what makes them really stand out above the crowd. So, uh... On the next vlog, we're actually going to be visiting Mill Creek Falls. Have you ever been to Mill Creek Falls? No, I have not. It's up on Crater Lake Highway on your way to Crater Lake from the Medford area. So uh, you'll see Kate, uh, Tyler, and I uh, checking out the, the waterfall. So we'll see you next time. Hi!